Hi and welcome to my channel The Stitchy Wife. I'm Elizabeth and it is time for a new Friday sews and today it is all about fabric and fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. Hi and welcome to my channel The Stitchy Wife. This is Elizabeth and I'm actually coming to you from the future. Today it's Wednesday the 23rd of February and I've been trying to edit this Friday so since Friday the 18th our computer has and our network has completely gone mad. I think it was because we started our spring last week and all of a sudden we are right back to winter and a lot of snow and a very old computer doesn't agree with that and neither do I actually <laughs> but I was about to don't show the video at all and just skip last Friday sews. But I've gotten some amazing fabric from Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door. So I couldn't help but share them because I wanted you to see what I got. And I I actually did an, um, kind of an unboxing when I got the package or the day after. I, um, I wanted you to see my reaction opening it and I wanted to open it with you. So I've decided to do it anyway. So here comes a very belated Friday sews from last week. And I'm sorry that I keep on calling it Friday and Friday sews during the video because I couldn't edit that away. But um, please stay tuned for amazing fabrics. I love them and I have already starting to twelve them, one of them. And I'm betting you can guess which one of them when you see the video. Take care and I see you soon again, I hope, this coming Friday and I hope that the technical issues doesn't continue because then I don't know what I'm going to do. But it works now and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will continue to work now. Take care all of you and see you soon. Bye for now. And here comes the video. Let's get ready for Friday sews and a fabric haul. Hi everyone and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to those of you who has never been here before and welcome to welcome back to all of you that have been here before and first of all I would like to take the opportunity to say a massive thank you to those of you who reached out to me after last week's video and welcome me back. It meant more than I even thought it would and it really warmed my heart and I felt so welcome and it motivated me to make the videos and motivated me to get out of bed actually. So thank you for that. Today it is time for a Friday so that is mostly about fabric. I got a huge package yesterday. Yeah, yesterday and I still haven't opened it just because I wanted to do it on camera. And I wanted to show you how, how I react and I wanted to see it with you. So I don't know if I can wait any longer. Can you? Andrea, actually you have to wait because I'm <laughs> going to tell you one more thing. I was actually one of the lucky ones that when Andrea asked before Christmas if we wanted to get on a waiting list for a Sherpa fabric that she showed on her channel. Um, and I never even saw that she had it on in her shop, but she showed a jacket that, that she made from this fabric and a lot of people asked where it was from and she told us to get on a waiting list and that she could order more. And I will ask Andrea if it's okay and I will uh, put in a picture of her here in her jacket. It was an amazing jacket. And I had before seen Kath from Made by Kath Crafts that I spoke about in my last video too. And um, I've seen her made an amazing Delphine or Dolphin jacket, one of my make nines. And um, I wanted to recreate that, but I never thought I would be able to get the fabric. And I think this might be the same fabric that Kath had been using. So I will ask her too if I can put in a picture of her here so you can see that great jacket. I will actually need you later on to help me decide what kind of pattern I will use for this. So 
fabric but right now I am just want to dig into the package and see what I have got because I couldn't just order that fabric when Andrea reached out to me and said that the fabric had come. Uh, she asked if I wanted to order anything else and I would be stupid if I didn't add anything else since I already had to pay the postage, right? Please say that I'm right with that because I'm trying to tell myself that I'm absolutely right doing that. I hope the lighting is okay here because it's getting extremely dark all of a sudden. I'm thinking it might start to rain here soon so I might need to put on the artificial lights. We will see if we can, we can make it through the video, but I will try because it's way better to show fabric when you don't have artificial lights. Bear with me, I will open this, I will put some music on because I don't want you to hear all, hear all the rustle. I just want to show you what kind of package it came in. It is 6 kilograms, so it's quite heavy and I was so excited when the UPS man came to me. I just got hmm. this has gone from a terrible day to a fantastic day. Hang on a minute and I will open it. Oh wow, that is amazing, i never seen this before, you probably see it the wrong way around now maybe, it's a It's uh, something you can put with your fabrics, with lots of info about it, fabric stash info. The date you got it, that it came from beyond the pink door, what name, what color, how much stretch, the composition, the length you ordered, weight, where I purchased this and how much it cost. I don't think I will write that down. Pre-washed, what I have planned for it and a swatch. That is amazing, Andrea. Thank you so, so much. And then a super cute postcard. Thank you for your order, Andrea and Keris. And here is also fabric stash on the other side, so I can use the postcard. I'm sorry for looking at the wrong side of the camera. I'm using my iPhone and I have having to have it on a stand that I'm not used to and that is I had to turn the phone wrong side up if you say so so I have to look in in the wrong corner so to speak I can see myself why do I tell you this I'm sorry if I'm looking a bit strange from side to side today that is what I was going to say about that back to fabric here we have, oh, I almost forgot I ordered this. Oh, that was soft. Oh, how? Oh, I want it as a pyjama. And I want to live with it all in it all day. It is. I hope she has it still on her on her page because it will be much easier than me doing this.
can you see it and it is a soft um I think it is cotton jersey, but it is a so has a soft side to it. I think I got it from the... Um, she had some remnants, I think it was, or maybe a sale section. I actually don't remember because it was a while ago. Then I ordered this. Oh, yeah, I ordered... That's good. Sorry, I'm too excited. This probably wasn't a great idea to be opening it on camera, but I wanted you to see my reaction. And I, it feels so weird and crazy to say it, but it feels like I'm opening it with you and that you share it with me, the excitement. And I, my husband, even if he is a, an amazing man, he doesn't share my excitement for opening fabrics. He looks at me and says, yeah, that's great. Now make it into clothes, then I will be impressed. I bought a grey version of it too. There were remnant pieces, I think. Can you see it? And I thought about doing a um, combination sweater. A raglan type, maybe the toaster sweater or something like that, with this as the main fabric and this for the sleeves. I will see, but it is probably the softest the softest um, cotton jersey i've felt definitely and here i think this is the soft sweat it's called because it has some dots in it with let me show you it is a sweat sweatshirt fabric with the fleecy backside but it isn't too thick and it has a lot of different colors can you see it I think you can, right? I will try and post links to all the fabrics down below. This is probably gonna... Once again, I've forgotten to tell you what I'm wearing. I will insert a picture, trying to insert a picture here. It is the South Bank sweater dress, but I actually added the Brunswick cowl uh, pattern piece from Hey June Handmade. You could probably um, add any kind of um, cowl piece because I wanted it to be a bit more snug, snugly, but not the tight piece. I, I have had a sudden obsession with these cowl pieces because I've added these to almost every sweater I'm making now. This is the sweater dress. This is actually a fabric I ordered before Christmas from Andrea. The last thing I sewed before my hand and everything down, broke down. Um, I will I will try and insert more pictures here. You will probably see that I don't know what happened with the pattern, but I unfortunately cut it too short and I had fabric enough, but I will use it as a tunic length. length. This is the dress as is with no lengthening. Sorry, I'm wrong. With one inch lengthening in the bodice part. And that is way too little on my account since I'm 5'11 and um, I need more on the South Spring sweater dress. I thought I made the pattern perfect to me, but somehow I cut, cut it off. So it's a bit sad because I love the dress when it's almost down to my, just over my knees, because that is where I feel most confident. Back to this. I will probably make another South Bank sweater dress of this soft sweat because I love this and I have gotten so much wear of it. Let's continue. Sorry for the bottle. Second parcel. Yeah, I ordered denim. I ordered this from her before. It is 20% stretch. It's recycled denim. And it is, I consider it, consider it. I will try and, there you can see it, I think. Can you see the stretch? It is almost the perfect denim for me because it is not quite as thick as most denim are. 
and um, it is not completely rigid but it is still I'm looking at the wrong side sorry it is not rigid but it is not too stretchy either I'm hoping that there is one fabric here that is a color denim that is more stretchy because I wanted to do some jegging too yep yeah here we have this the perfect jegging fabric she said and she was absolutely right it is it may be a bit too teal turquoise for me but um, green turquoise green teal I don't know the color but um, I was thinking about coloring it black but on the other hand I've decided to let this year be the year that I'm including a lot more color I am I have decided to take part in Hail Moore's um, challenge where you sew your colors 22 and I have done a color analysis and I will talk about that more later on but um, I have done it by myself um, using the camera so it definitely isn't a professional one but I think I'm quite sure what colors I'm mostly suited in because I really like those colors and I can see that some of the gray in my face disappears when I'm using them so I'm I'm quite I'm quite sure that I'm gotten the right co colors but I will get to that in a later Friday so or maybe in a separate video completely but since I decided to try and add more colors maybe I will actually let this be and have this as a colorful jeggings we will see what do you think do you think it is too much will i use it is it too too much color i don't know maybe we'll see and then last but not least sorry the last pants fabric It is black. It is stretchy. I think it is 20% stretch here too. I will check that and I will write it down here if, I, if I'm wrong. But uh, it is cotton. If I show this in the camera it says that I'm too little light so I can't show it too much. It's really getting dark outside. I think we're gonna have a rain. You in England and UK were supposed to have a storm today and I think th that will come to us later and I don't know if it's already come we'll see then I got my first ever printed um, A0 pattern oh that took all the wire uh, all the color from me the Sigge jacket can you see it it will be so interesting to see how it works I thought I could give that to myself since it were a lot of pages and I know that that would turn me off to start the whole process. So I will definitely let you know how I'm getting on next week. I will do a 12 and um, I will try and start off actually because I think I know what I will have as my 12 fabric. I think I will try and make a wearable 12, maybe a... I will do some sort of mock-up just with some old bed sheets or something first but then I will try and make, I will do two versions of the Ziggy jacket because I know I will use it a lot this spring. So that is, I will, tr I will try and make that happen till next week. Then definitely last but not least my fabric that i've been waiting for and that will be my most favorite jacket ever if you ask my sister and husband you will know how much i have longed for this jacket and uh, or this fabric and to be able to make a jacket up from it here we have it it is denim on one side and shirt on the other and it is if the cotton jersey was soft that is nothing compared to this and look two and a half meters now the big question is am I gonna do a 
Delphin jacket as Kath did from Made by Kath Crafts. I will ask her if I can insert the picture here of her. She looks amazing in her. I would like to do it a tad bit longer because I wanted to um, cover my bum and a bit of my thighs actually because I'm freezing a lot nowadays and I thought that would be a, a fabulous spring jacket actually here in Sweden since you never know how cold it will be and how warm we will get. So this will be the perfect transition and jacket. I don't think it's warm enough for the winter time, but it will definitely be perfect from March maybe and forward. So that will be a great thing to start off with now. So this and the Siggy jacket is the two pieces that I will concentrate on for the rest of February. Actually, I was thinking about doing some kind of module sewing, but I will not have the time. I will not have the energy and I have promised myself not to take too much on now in the beginning where I'm starting to sew. I will try and take my time and see where it takes me. Hang on a minute and I will get the other pattern for the coat I'm thinking about for this. It will either be the Delphine or Dolphin jacket from Iron Patterns, which I will show you here. That comes in sizes. I will put the sizes down below the pattern. I'm sorry, but I don't have it here, so I can't. I will insert it afterwards. Or you have an old pattern from a company called Neue Mode. Steel. I hope you could see it. I think I'm leaning more against the, towards the iron patterns because I think this last pattern is more. What do you call it? Um, more posh style. I don't know if that's the right word. But it is not as cozy as I want it. Do you get what I mean? I hope you can understand what I'm talking about. Um, it feels a bit more styled and a bit more more like a suit, if you get what I'm going at. Um, we'll see, but I am definitely leaning with the iron pattern jacket. But please let me know what do you think. What do you think would suit me? What do you think I would have the most use of? Because I am in March definitely going to concentrate on doing my module sewing. sewing and um, I am I'm in desperate need of some new clothes since I lost a bit more weight, unfortunately. And right now I'm living in my South Bank sweater dresses and that is an amazing thing to live in. <laughs> but it is, uh, I need some more clothes, that is for sure. Last week I actually... Uh, I had the other thing I'm also using a lot, and that is the Myland sweater and the Plateau joggers. And that is a great pattern too, but it is a bit too big and it is, I need to make another pair of those. So I will definitely plan some more modules for my next week. And I will be taking part in So Frugal 22 this year. I will also take part as a YouTuber and as a vlogger and make an inspirational video and that is so fun and so much I'm so much looking forward to it because it means so much to take part in one of those big things here on YouTube so I'm so grateful to both Sam and Ran that are creating the challenge and are letting us YouTuber and bloggers to take part that isn't that big it means a lot, so thank you if you would be look, looking at this. It will be great to do it and I will prepare a lot. So that is something else that I will do in the upcoming weeks. But other than that, I will plan what I will be sewing. I will be trying to start cutting out and I am actually doing two pattern tests right now that I, I think I will be able to share with you next week that are amazing, both of them, great staples in the wardrobe. So please 
come back next week and watch and see what um, I've been doing. If you haven't subscribed, it would be, mean so much if you would consider doing that. And please give it a thumbs up and a like. That means so much for, the, uh, for me and for the algorithm. Because that makes me visible on YouTube again. Uh, I don't think I'm very visible at the moment, unfortunately. And I would love to make it to 500 subscribers because then we could have a community page or I will have access to the community page and we could show much more things there. So please do if you haven't. Otherwise, I think I will try and end this video here and I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and that you have the opportunity to sew a lot and if not plan a lot and think a lot about sewing because that is the greatest thing in the world right take care and lots of love from sweden and it's about to start rain now so i think i need to take in our bed linen because i was hanging them them on the outside to get some fresh air but i don't think my husband would be too happy if it's wet and fresh air on them Bye for now. Take care and have a wonderful evening.